arguing or submitting. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Do you argue with God? May sound funny at first, but let's think about it. Whether we are aware or not, we might at times have thoughts, which is, why does God not reward me? Or maybe you think to yourself, relatively to someone else you do better, give more donations than someone else, or treat your family better than the neighbor, or make bigger efforts for your, com for your employer, for your company, than the colleague, or any such kind of thoughts. We relatively compare ourselves to others and think that we have a right to demand something from God. But that is not the case. We cannot argue with him. Job understood that we cannot dispute with God. Job 9 verses 2 and 3. How can a man be in the right before God? If one wished to dispute with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. A person who tries to dispute with God could not answer one point in a thousand times. Job understood that we cannot argue with God. And if we understand how holy God is, how eternal, how almighty and powerful, and if we understand how lost we are, how small, how weak, and also how, e how much evil is in us, how much darkness, then instead of arguing with God, we will submit ourselves to God. We will put our trust in Him and we understand how much He has to give. Then we entrust ourselves to Him. The scribe said to Jesus, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that He is one, God is one, and besides Him there is no other God. And to love Him to love God with all our heart, with all the understanding and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, these things are much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Mike 12, verses 32 to 34. The scribe started to understand that it is more important that we recognize God as who he is, as the Almighty, the creator of the universe, the only God, and that we are to love him with all our heart and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. That will be the consequence, that we also help others as God has helped us. Lord, we thank you for your word, we ask for forgiveness where we argue with you, where we have wrong thoughts. You are almighty and holy, and you also have a lot of love to us. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your help. All praise and glory and honor be to you in eternity. Amen.